Good morning. It's Saturday and it's church rummage sale day. I think we have at least two, maybe three to go to. Hi everyone, welcome to Avante Avenue. I'm Vicki and Mark and I are heading out to a church rummage sale. And of course we've got the newspaper and my notebook. I record the sales, record what I buy. And my tote to take in, an empty box or two, and some paper for fragile items. These are some of the things I take with us and we're going sourcing. Let's get started. There's a lot of cars here, which is the way it's been at all the sales. Okay, let's go see what we can find. A lot of people here and a lot of stuff. There's some birdies. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Let's head to the glassware and dishes. This looks old, so I think it's missing a lid, maybe. These are Wexford and Gray. I've seen these before. Good will price, 99 cents. Twenty-five cents each. All right. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna take all of those. Maybe all those and all those. Get all this amber here and all this amber here. Not sure now about the green. So what did we actually buy? We bought four Indiana Glass Colony Park in amber goblets that we listed for $39.95 two Imperial Glass Provincial Amber Glass Tumblers for $24.95, two Imperial Glass Goblets for $19.95, two Robert Stanley Amber Candle Holders for $29.95, a set of salt and pepper shakers with a thumbprint pattern for $24.95, and what about those Indiana Glass Cubist Pattern Glasses? There are quite a few of those. On eBay, 12 sold for $54, 9 sold for $65, 6 sold for $55, and 8 sold for $30. And we made a deal for only $24, yes, $24 for all the amber glass. What a deal. However, 12 of the Indiana Glass Cubist Pattern Glasses were unsellable. Yes, unsellable. Mark goes through everything. He washes everything and he checks everything. He, he puts it under good lighting. And we found so many scratches and so many chips that we just didn't see at the church sale. And we ended up deciding we could not list them. It was not worth our time because every flaw just brought the price down more and more. We left the blue tape on them that pointed out all the flaws and we donated them to the Goodwill. Let them decide what to do with them. I hope they leave the tape on so buyers know. But as you saw there, we got many great things to resell and we paid only $24 and that still made it a great find. <laughs> these are Nora Taki and there's not many sold. So I'm gonna leave these behind. They're not really going that well. The Nora Taki pattern is perspective and this is the only sold comp I found and they took an offer off of $15, which is nothing for three glasses. So that's why I passed on buying them. These are pretty. Got a gold ring. The green glasses are Libby and they were a promotional item with Arby's and it's a teardrop pattern with a gold rim. The color is Juniper and they're not going for enough on eBay. Four sold for $19.97 and four sold for $17.99. So I did leave these behind. It's thinned out quite a bit. Thing is, will we find anything left? 
and cartridges. Feels like it's new. Looking for an expiration date. Gotta put the phone down while I look. I'm having trouble finding the date on here and I need to check all of these to make sure they're complete. The box had damage, but the cartridges were all new sealed. I couldn't find an expiration date, but nonetheless. Can you believe we paid $1 for these and sold them for? For $90? Yes, $90 plus shipping. What a great find for $1. Do you pay attention to ink cartridges? You've heard me say it in many videos. New sealed ink cartridges can sell. Even expired ones or no date at all. Twin sheets. Yeah, it's hard to find twin sheets these days. I think I'm going to pick these up for $3. It is new. It says in the back they were $45. So I've never sold sheets before, so this will be something new. The original price on the sheets was $44.99. So we listed the set for $39.95 plus shipping. Do you pick up new sheets to resell? Scent bug. Sometimes I don't learn things until after the sale. Like with this scent bug. Originally sold at Bath & Body Works, it appears to be discontinued now, at least I couldn't find any, on their website. But you can see here on Google that many resellers are selling these around $45, $49, wow, $150. First of all, personally, I don't like scents. So it was very normal and natural for me to just put that back down on the table. And some of them sell for some decent money. Here's a set of refills for $39.95. And to the right, this cute little bat, Halloween bat, for $39.95. Another bat sold while well, they took an offer off of $28. And the snowman, they took an offer off of $26. And these are sort of plain like what I was looking at. One sold for $25, one sold for $35. Did you know about scent bugs? It only makes sense now to buy them to resell. If they're new, of course. A nice bamboo set. Let's go back to the home decor. And, oh, I miss Christmas too. I like this planter. It needs cleaned up quite a bit. It's Hager floral. Yeah, it needs cleaned up a lot. Hmm. So maybe Christmas. So what else did we buy? I got the bamboo utensil holder. I kept the utensils and we listed the holder for $24.95. The off-white Hager planter, where I used my keyword farmhouse, paid a couple of dollars and listed it for $49.95. And you didn't see this in the video, but at the last minute, I picked up this pretty purple pitcher featuring an iris pattern. It's completely unmarked, paid $3 for it and listed it for $29.95. That was fun. It was crazy busy when we got there. As you saw, people were lined up at the door. We didn't buy a lot maybe five things oh besides all the glassware yes we bought a bunch of amber glassware for 24 dollars. and what did i spend the second time mark 12.50 i think so now we're going to head to the next church sale which is one of my favorites and they haven't had it for a couple of years looking forward to that and i think they have coney dogs for lunch kind of early for lunch though now we are at cassidy for grandma's attic sale and it's about 9 35 so it's hard to say oh the sale's right there right right to the right of that big tree they have a really beautiful garden area up here it says god's garden got some irises 
I just bought that purple iris pitcher. But look how beautiful. I think this is great. I've never seen any other church do this. Have a garden area. In fact, we can, instead of taking that sidewalk, let's walk through the garden. I have a statue in the center. So pretty. All right, and we can buy plants here too. Let's head in. Oh, there's still some stuff here. Room's pretty empty as far as people here. I need to find the dishes and glassware. See it over there. Cute little buildings. Hometown America. Just have to watch out for the gold, the gilding. That actually has wax on it, but well, this is a pretty shade for the little candy dish. These don't go for a lot, but fifteen. This pretty candy dish is by Indiana Glass and it's a Colony Whitehall Cubist pattern in a pretty aqua green. At the sale, I estimated $15 for the value, but I listed it for $24.95 with make offer and it sold for $20 plus shipping. A little amber bucket. Honey jar. An old picture. Can't read it. Can't read it. This look like plastic. Are they plastic? Yep. Oh, five finger vase, but I've had some listed forever, these five finger vases, and they haven't sold. However, and I'm almost always made in Portugal, this could be sold as that farmhouse. It's not a bright white. It's got a chip. On eBay, a plain white one sold for $38 and one for $26.50. And this one with a little floral embellishment sold for $18. This one is rather plain, sold for $19.95. And you can see the prices are going down. This one sold for less than $20. This one for $14, which is kind of my experience with these. These five finger vases, when it's all said and done, are worth about $15 plus shipping. Greenbrier Dollar Tree. Let's take a look at the room. I kind of like it. It's cute. Be cute little succulent planter. It is two dollars, but yeah, put it in your basket, please. I listed this brush USA succulent planter for twenty-four ninety-five plus shipping. Looking at the jewelry here, and I like this. And I like this kitty cat pen, butterfly, and these little pewter horses. The cat pin turned out to be JJ or Jonette Jewelry. It was not Chelsea Pewter like it said on the card, so we took it off the card to photograph. Listed it for $19.95. The horse earrings though are Chelsea Pewter and we listed those for $19.95. Like I need jewelry, right? Yeah. These are kind of a light blue wash to them. Those would make some cute button flowers. Little shakers. Yeah. Is 
1952 Ford model. Mm, scratched up. If these had been in better condition, I would have bought them. But first, let me show you a fancy one here on eBay. So for $125. And to the right, they took an offer off of $74. And this one sold for less than $75. And this one for $69. And this one looks just like the one at the church sale and it sold for $50 and the one on the right for $65. So keep your eyes open for these, but they need to be in decent condition. So those are kind of cool. I don't know what that white is on there. These are really lightweight brass made in India. Huh, comes complete with plant, which I probably would take out of there, the spider plants. These are kind of cool though. Got some Buxton wallets here. Now this one, you can see how much wear it has. So I'm gonna pass on that. But this one isn't too bad. It's pretty, looks pretty new. I don't know how much they are, 50 cents each. So I think I'll get this one. I listed this vintage Buxton wallet made from cowhide leather for $29.95 plus shipping. I don't know who FF is. Any idea who FF is? Oh, Fendi. Ooh, Fendi leather. That might be worth something. Although this may very well be a Fendi wallet, I'm still unsure if it's authentic. So I haven't listed it yet. If you know anything about these, leave a comment. Mark found a spooner that I missed on the table. At least we think that's what it is. It's pressed glass. You can see the seam. But it's a dollar. What else did you find? Can I put that in your basket, please? Yep. Okay, and you found some glass. A red hot chili pepper. All right, we'll take that. We listed the glass spooner for $29.95 and the red hot chili pepper for $14.95 plus shipping. Nemax. I looked at these houses once when I came around the table and then Mark looked at them after me, and I'm glad he did There's because he found one. this. They're $5 each. This one's a Taste of Italy. This one's a Lee Max. Max, real tight treasures. Mark is checking them out to make sure the battery compartments are clean and things like that. And then we have one here, lighted building. So we're gonna check that out too. It's the, broken. The spire on the ah, top good here thing is, we checked is it. broken off. It's, it's just not worth it. They're only worth, they're worth about 35 if they're in excellent condition. So we'll leave that one behind. Don't always wanna take time to check things, but it's good if you do. Mark just saved us from spending another five dollars and why is that? Because the cord and light are missing. So that just dropped down since it's 35. I also took a measurement, I carry a little measurement tape, I measured these and it's going to be real tight fitting it into one of the boxes that I have. You can already see that the styrofoam top cover is missing. The other little person is there, the man, the preacher, angel song, broken piece. piece but I don't know if it belongs it's a, to this. It's here and that's yeah, it, it's not. So we're going to say no to that too. So now we've saved what? $15? And the cross is missing from the top. So check things out. Save your money. The only one that we ended up buying is the Lee Max Taste of Italy and we listed it for $79.95 plus shipping. Some of the things that we showed you are things that you need to look for. Broken items, missing items, check the battery compartment. And this one did need some work on the battery compartment. And we're going to have in a separate video how to clean out a battery compartment. Mark has some tips for you and he's going to be working on this one, this Taste of Italy, to show you the battery compartment before and after. So watch for that video. It will be under one of our playlists for tutorials. And it works. Old hat box, no hat. Got some hats here. I don't know about this one. Paid $1 for each hat and did one listing with a quantity of two for $24.95 each plus shipping. It's a pretty vanity tray. It's new. Wouldn't want to ship it though. Okay. 
Okay, looking at Christmas ornaments. These were eleven ninety nine. They've got only fifty cents for these, so that would make a nice little lot. Even though I have to sacrifice part of the tag, <laughs> I'll get those. Advertise those as Victorian. And I thought this is cute. Paid two dollars for the four. Listed them at twenty four ninety five and sold them on offer for twenty dollars plus shipping. Red Lobster ornament. You can see those every day. Oh wait, wait, they want two dollars for the whole basket. That's a better deal. I don't understand. Ornaments fifty cents each, or the basket, the basket two dollars. All right, I gotta get that Red Lobster. Oh, that's a little lobster one too, isn't it? Lobster trap. Lobster trap. Can put those together. I try to do lots with ornaments when I can. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down so I can look some more. The ornaments were 50 cents each. We made a lot of two for $19.95 plus shipping. This one's different. A little cotton angel. Literally, cotton ball angel. And this little cotton ball cutie got listed for $19.95. I know that is high, but it has best offer on the listing. I just found these. It said Israel, and I recognize these as olive wood. The grain is missing his staff, but it's Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus. And I'm getting this even if he's missing his staff. It was only $2 for the set, and although he was missing his staff, I've sold something like this before, so I bought them and listed them for $19.95 plus shipping. As always, that was a fun sale, but no hot dogs today, no conies. And I spent $25.50. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. And Mark and I will see you soon.